He likes my wife, but he really likes the baby. Really likes the baby. If she walks into a room and her brother's in the room, oh, Demi, he fun, runs yeah. out. But Harry stands next to him. Purrs at her and stuff. Howie, get on the couch, Howie. And she jumps on the couch. Oh. Like he's just a... Dog to the dog, the blog, the blog, doggy, buggy, buggy, said the blog, said I'm just the blog. Have you ever been shot with pepper spray? No, no I last, no. Right? Have no. you? Have you ever been? No, I, I wasn't shot directly. Yeah, but in the area, but in the I area, area yeah, it kills you. Terrible. terrible. Yes. What do you do like right away. Did you, you, your throat, your eyes. You cannot whatever. open your eyes you as open much your as you eyes. want to. Yeah. You can't it, it's open like your you eyes. just squeeze shampoo in your eyeballs. For some you know. for some reason, I've been thinking about this, and you guys all the same. Cuban people are the most exaggerated people in the world. Like they're the most exaggerated people. Uh huh. And when I was a kid, I I grew up in. North Bergen, but you didn't see New Jersey was the second biggest Cuban population in the country behind my head. Yeah. It's big because of its embroidery. And every neighborhood had characters on it. The 38th Street, there was a club called Blue Clint the Ocho. That means 38th Street Club. It was a 38th Street Club. It was a bar. It was owned by a man named Willie Bondi. Now, for years, Willie Bondi had a bar there seven nights a week. I did not know what he did. I knew Willie from parties at my mother's bar. Hi, Mr. Vandy. Hi. But the word on the street is that Willie was the grandson to the guy in Godfather 2 that they take Michael Corleone to see that he would tie up little uh, human uh, trafficking women and then the Cubans would play the bongos and he would come out with like a 30 or 40 year inch penis and get it erect and he would give the woman a stab and the fellow was proud. <laughs> you know, this oh is like the first God. beef show. You pay like 20 bucks in 1950 to see Willie you Vandy's see grandfather. Yeah. If you watch Godfather 2, uh -huh. when yeah, Michael yeah. finds out yeah. that Prado betrayed him, right, right. is at that place. And it's men going to see and they call him Superman. And it's really funny that the, the chick is like a, a <laughs> just like a human trafficking. No puedo, no puedo. And all of a sudden, you know, Willie Vandy's grandfather would come out with a cape on. He drops the cape, <laughs> and he's got like a 40 inch unit, and the girl's like passed out. And it's like, it was like legal, whatever. It's like a peep show, only, you know. So now Willie Vandy's claim to fame was that that was his granddad. So on Friday nights at his bar, he would do the same in Union City, New Jersey. Oh my God. Oh, awesome. He would get like some woman that he met randomly. <laughs> tie her up, you get like two little Cubans to play the bongos, <laughs> no. and then Willie Vandy would come out with a cape. Now, I never knew, you know, and one day my stepdad lent him money, and he goes, we gotta go over there and borrow, get money from Willie. So, I, I was like maybe 13. Okay. And I remember going in there and going, what is going on? And all of a sudden, he's like, Willie's gonna do his thing. And I'm like, what thing? You know, what thing? <laughs> <laughs> and I look up, and there's the Cuban dude playing the bongos. And there's the chick naked on the pole, and there comes Willie, like with little moves and cape <laughs> on and stuff. And all of a sudden the cape flies off, and I looked at his unit, but something happened, like there was a fist fight. I was like a kid. Yeah. There was a fist fight, and somebody shot that tear gas. <gasps> um, but I was, I was fortunate that somebody shot the tear gas, because once I saw that guy's unit, he was Cuban. So I knew it was an exaggeration. I knew there had to be a by the way. Yeah. And how he got his unit to get long, like they pulled on it. They stretched it because it was really skinny. It looked like a like a hose from a like a pencil? From a like a Oh like yeah, a, hookah. Like a hookah hole. Yeah, yeah, hookah hole. <laughs> it looked like a horse's oh tail. My God. Just, yeah. and, <laughs> no. And just way. From looking at it, I got like dizzy, like <laughs> And right away, like, I ran outside, my stepdad came out, like, what's the problem? And I'm like, I, I can't believe the size of that guy's unit. Like, I got all dizzy. This is a true story, by the way. <laughs> That's a true story. And in the middle of all that, there was a fist fight, and somebody shot somebody in one of those tear gas things. And that's how I got out of that whole situation that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had to be 40 inches, but skinny, like a little pinky finger. <laughs> oh, how unattractive. Oh, my God. I was just shocked. It's like a, a jump rope. You know, when you were a kid, yeah, it was like a jump rope. It was like a jump rope. <laughs>